everyone gets depressed sometimes. Maybe you've had a bad day at work, maybe your relationship didn't work out, or maybe you've spent a whole year rehearsing a play, only to have your co-star forget all of her lines and waste an entire year of your life, but I digress. Video games are a simple means of escapism. You can leave your troubles in the real world and escape into a realm of fantasy. So let's get into some feel-good gaming with 10 of my favourite games to chase the blues away. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a trained psychiatrist, and while these games can alleviate the symptoms of a mild depression, you should seek professional help if you are suffering from a clinical depression. That being said, it's Snooty Nerds! Top 10 Games to Help with Depression! When you're in a bad mood, you just want to go on a rampage. There are plenty of beat-em-ups that let you do this, but I'm going to give this boss to the action RPG Trials of Mana. You get to plough through hordes of monsters with your choice of characters, to the background sound of beautiful, nostalgic music remixed from the classic days of the Super Nintendo. There are other RPGs with beat-em-up or hack-and-slash elements, but none of them have visuals this colourful. But Trials of Mana is at its most cathartic when you're on New Game Plus, because this gives you the Love of Mana skill which triples the amount of experience points you get. Sometimes when you're feeling low, all you need to lift your spirits is a colourful game that's easy but fun. After all, you can never go wrong with some easy but fun! Back off! Kirby is such a happy series. No matter which game it is, bright colours and cheerful music will always keep your spirits up. As well as characters that are so cute, you just want to eat them up. Literally! But for the purpose of this list, I'm going with the Super Nintendo's Kirby Superstar, also known as Kirby's Fun Pack in the United Kingdom. Rather than one single game, it consists of several smaller adventures, some of which can be beaten in under an hour. Like I said with Trials of Mana, sometimes when you're depressed, all you need is a short, easy game that you can beat with hardly any frustration. The freedom to do whatever you want makes for an excellent feel-good experience, particularly the games from the Grand Theft Auto series, such as San Andreas. Now, I know that San Andreas may seem like a weird choice for this list, with the gang wars and the potty language, but it's not the story that makes it cathartic, it's those wonderful cheat codes. Look online for the cheat codes and the world is your oyster. Fly around with a jetpack, run around causing chaos with a flamethrower, and be the Norman Price of San Andreas. Or spawn a tank and drive around blasting the bejesus out of everything in sight, giving Jack Thompson a serious headache since he's now powerless to do anything about it. You can even take to the skies by spawning your own fighter jet! But as user-friendly as the Hydra is, it's also satisfying to go up, up and away in the civilian stunt plane, once you find a convenient strip of land to take off. It's therapeutic, floating around with no traffic to bump into. So, I'm up in the air! I'm extraordinary! I'm king of the sky above all those down there! I'm famous, intrepid, so let it be heard! I'm the best and the highest of nerd! Ha <laughs> ha! If you've never heard of Sakura Wars, so long my love, for the Wii, then you, my friend, are missing out. At least if you like dating sims. When boiled down to the bare basics, it's an interactive harem anime in which you court Broadway actresses and engage in mecha battles. Think Infinite Stratos in 1920s New York. While there is some heavy drama involved, it's also satisfying to see characters that were hostile towards you before see the error of their ways and start fawning over you. Do repent from your earlier Pity behaviour. As far as visual novels go, Sakura Wars is one of the most satisfying to play through. There's just something about classic piano jazz music, and has humour in all the right places. Especially in Chapter 3, which has one of the funniest villains ever. Yeah! I, I knew that! I was just pretending! For dramatic effect! There's something about life simulation games that's simultaneously relaxing and addictive. The Sims, for example, can be a perfect escape fantasy, setting up a family with characters based on yourself to live the life you always wanted. For example, sharing a house with five sexy single women. Beth. The lead in a harem series? However, you can have even more fun by making Sims based on your enemies, 
and coming up with something deliciously evil to do to them. So if, like me, or Father Ted, you have a list of people who've screwed you over over the years, you can make sims based on them and settle old scores in video game form. So from now on, any woman who rejects my advances, your name will go on the list. So I can create a sim character in your likeness and bring that sim to account. Oh, rah, what you want. Does it change the fact that you're a tosser? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. Look, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but hasn't it occurred to you that the reason women keep turning you down might be because you're doing creepy stuff like this? Your name will also go on the list. What is it? Don't tell him, Scott. Scott. Puzzle games are very therapeutic. Doing something that engages your brain and exercises the old grey matter can be a big help in getting your mind off what troubles you. Tetris in particular has been scientifically proven to lower symptoms related to depression. A psychological study had participants who experienced or witnessed a car crash play Tetris for 20 minutes and the participants experienced a drop of intrusive memories related to post-traumatic stress disorder by up to around 60%. So there you have it. Scientific evidence that video games positively impact a person's mental health, and further proving that Jack Thompson is a total twonk! Pokemon is always fun. It's a power fantasy for everyone, full of endearing characters, fun battle mechanics, and an abundance of replay value, thanks to all the different Pokemon characters from which to build your party. The Let's Go games for the Switch are a modern remake of the original Red and Blue version, with modern conveniences and elements from the anime series, allowing you to relive your childhood fantasies, foiling the machinations of Team Rocket, accompanied by a friendly Pikachu or Eevee, who also doubles as a HM slave, and gains the stats and attacks to steamroll most of the gym leaders. This is what most of us dreamed of as kids. Female trainers making flirty remarks to you, and going on an adventure with an overpowered Pikachu. No wonder Ash and his electric BFF are so jovial in the anime. Helping unhappy children to feel better is what the Care Bears do for a living. Unfortunately, they don't exist in real life, but thankfully, there are some other anthropomorphic animals who can lift your spirits. Your neighbours in Animal Crossing. Spending time with digital friends can help you to cure the blues. You can enjoy the simple things in life, such as visiting the museum, visiting neighbours, going fishing, redecorating your house. You can also invite real life friends over to hang out and have a good laugh. Over a cup of coffee, many a friend is found. Harvest Moon is a series that I've mentioned several times on this channel. As well as satisfying your greed by making piles and piles of cash, you can also have your pick of local beauties. For this list, I narrowed it down to Friends of Mineral Town for the Game Boy Advance and Magical Melody for the GameCube, or for the Wii and the PAL regions. In the end, Mineral Town won out, due to the fact that you don't have to put up with a self-righteous FRIENDSHIP IS FOR LOSERS poser like Jamie. Harvest Moon is a great way to live an idyllic life as part of a close-knit community with adorable characters. It's like being in an old-fashioned village from a children's cartoon like Camberwick Green, or Ponty Pandy from Fireman Sam, or Greendale from Postman Pat. Speaking of Camberwick Green, who'd win the Battle of the Gossips, Mama or Mrs. Honeyman? And now for a quick recap before we get to number 1. Number 10, Trials of Mana. Number 9, Kirby Superstar. Number 8, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Number 7, Sakura Wars So Long My Love. Number 6, The Sims Free. Number 5, Tetris. Number 4, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Number 3, Animal Crossing. Number 2, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. And finally, we have Room Factory 4, which brings together elements of the previous entries on the list. You have a farming and money making of Harvest Moon, the courtship and deep dating mechanics of Sakura Wars, the close community events of Animal Crossing, and the satisfying melee combat on par with Trials of Mana. You can even look after monsters that can fight for you, even having one of the festivals literally be a Pokemon battle tournament. Which becomes even funny considering that the male player character is voiced by the same actor as Red in Pokemon Origins. 
You take on the role of a prince or princess, and could choose to be either a benevolent ruler or a tight-fisted tyrant who confiscates everyone's hats. Don't judge me! I need those hats to put on a local production of Waiting for Gojo! With a new newlywed mode on the special edition, giving more characterization to the already likable and fleshed out characters, Room Factory 4 really is one of the best feel-good games on the market. You can just kick back and relax, running a farm, go fishing, battle monsters, rule a waifu, or order your servants around. In Room Factory 4, you're the boss. Now before we end the video, I'm giving an honourable mention to Stardew Valley. It has a lot of the same features as Room Factory, though with more unpleasant characters, it just missed being on the list. Also, I felt that Room Factory 4 had much better battle mechanics. And that's my list of the top 10 games to help with depression. Special thanks to my friends Scott and Emma for helping with the live action segments. I've left links to their channels in the video description in which they do song covers. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to share, like, comment and subscribe, or your name will also go on the list!